Welcome to another uh, YouTube vlog here at Pops Block Shop. Um, as you can see at the title, you probably already saw what I um, the news I'm about to break here is that we are uh, we've signed up and our spot is all bought and paid for Brick World, Brick World Milwaukee slash Wisconsin. So it's at the Wisconsin State Fairgrounds in West Allis, Wisconsin, which is just like West. Just west of the like the Brewers baseball stadium there, Miller Miller Park. So super excited for that. I'm so happy that we got that opportunity. Um, you know, like I've been saying before, hopefully I'll be able to do Indianapolis and Chicago in 2021 because apparently I'm not going to get in this year. But uh, the Milwaukee's two and a half hours from our home, so that is great news. So just wanted to bring that up. It's April 18th and 19th, uh, 2020. It's a Saturday and a Sunday, so. Um, a lot of time to prepare. That's a good thing. Last time, the Michigan one, we only had about five weeks to prepare. Um, even though I've been preparing all the time, I have a lot of stuff ready to go. Um, it does have to keep on adding more and more. The, the more you can bring, the better. So, yeah, it's just, it's going to be fun. So, uh, after this will be clips, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes maybe of stuff. Um, I'm going to be taking a break from doing the vlogs for probably the month of January. I'll be doing a couple, maybe one or two, maybe three informational videos on BrickLink. I'm, I have planned if I get to it, but um, not vlogs. I'm going to stop doing that for a little bit. So this will be the last clips for a couple of weeks, probably into the, the first week of February, I'm thinking. So um, hope you enjoy it. Well, here's a good example on why I do so much on eBay. Uh, you know, there's always the, where do they charge higher fees? Yes, they do. They have a lot more... Um, what do you say, advertising than BrickLink would ever have? You've never seen a BrickLink ad anywhere. Uh, so, um, you got to take it for what it is. You know, you get more exposure. So when I look at this minifigure, it average use price is about $4. People are actually asking $7 on average right now, but you can get it for cheaper um, on some stores. Oh, I see, someone's got a $37 one. That's driving that up pretty high. So it should more be about $5. So anyway, um, when I look them up on eBay, look at how many, how much people want for them. That's the cheapest, twelve twenty-five, twenty-one dollars, and people are actually buying these ones. This is a brand new one. We look at the sold. Somebody bought one for twenty-one dollars. That's crazy. Absolutely nuts. You can get something for four dollars on one site and pay twenty-one on another. See, it seems like twelve is a well, 750 is one sold for, but somebody had that as a buy it now. So, but look at 21. There's a 21. There's a 19. It's crazy. And let's do another example here. This is the next one I was listing on eBay. So if we look at Bricklink, it's just over four dollars. People want you know five, five fifty. New sells for six. And then we look at the current listings. There's 41 that show up listed this way, and there is only one for sale, single. Um, obviously, there's some sets here, um, which are more than that single, mostly. So there's 41 total listings, and they have, yeah, there's no other minifigs. There was some sold ones that sold for about 8 to $10 that I did look at, but still, it's just crazy. So I just listed a bunch of Duplo stuff onto eBay. Some pretty good prices for some of that. And, uh, did... I didn't know the price on this guy. Spider-Man's pretty common though. He's in a couple of sets. Um, so I looked up the Green Goblin price guide. Used he's about well, he doesn't sell that much, but on seven sales, average of eight dollars on Brickling. So yeah, he's got to be more on eBay for sure. So I just uh, listed the new Joker from the DC minifigs. Yeah, we've gotten the eBay listings up to twelve hundred and thirty-eight different listings so it was 1150 a few days ago so glad to see that happen and we've just been selling and selling <laughs> crazy okay it is uh, January 3rd Friday what did we get in the mail well 
Paid eleven something for this, eleven dollars total for this. It was an auction at nine ninety nine, and there's like a dollar fifty shipping. So I was the only one to bid on it. It's got a Commander Cody without a helmet, I believe it's not in there. This guy alone, I have, I can complete him pretty quickly here. Um, this dinosaur, I'm not sure what it's worth. I've never had it, but it looks pretty cool, pretty vicious. This Squid Warrior guy, I sell him for about eight or nine bucks. Well, a couple times a month if I have them. But right now I don't have them for sale. I think I'm missing the head gear, which I don't see it in here either, which is fine. Um, got this for $23. Um, this figure is not really worth much at all, even though he's exclusive to this. But these two are... Um, they're around $20 each. They can sell for. It takes a while to sell some of them, but... Um, yeah, this guy has the red brick hoodie. People really want that. And then this was a thirty some dollar. They wanted fifty. I offered like twenty seven plus something, twenty seven fifty, and then they took the offer. Um, and then there's shipping costs on there. So that looks like an exclusive set with a special bike. And it has a certain color bicycle. But th these are all pretty old. And the pictures were very good. They looked all in great condition. Like, stuff this old, you don't find it in good condition. Ooh, that is actually a pretty expensive compass I've sold before. It's like four or five bucks. Um, not that expensive, but just for a little piece. So, old gold gray ladders. Some good stuff. So I took a chance on it. It's not, I have a ton of these old guys, but they're not always in the best shape. I'm not necessarily going to be selling the old ones, but there's a lot of different pieces in here that maybe are worth something. And we have one Brickling Order. Uh, oh yeah, these guys from, I think it's from Germany, they always send these. Um, someone will be happy upstairs. And we needed stuff from Mrs. Claus, I think that's why I came here initially. And there, oh, there we go, the Squid Warrior's head. He will be going for sale shortly. Um, I got these vampire heads before, um, in an eBay, from an eBay store that had a couple, and I made some guys, and these are like 50 cents each, and the guy sells for like 5 bucks, he just, it's the Lord Vampire from Monster Fire, Fighters, uh, his torso, and his hair, and that head, black legs, and you have a figure, so, it's good stuff. Yeah, maybe I'll eat these, hmm, I don't know. What did you find? Billy Bears. Those are in my Lego package. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> yeah, you can have them. Thank you. Uploading takes a long time. This is just under two hours to do 40 minutes. It's going. Going through the Spricklink order, these squid heads I talked about a little bit ago. Squid Warrior, and two of them actually have the heads in there still. Um, you said they're new, they look new, so. The heads are in two of them. That's bone. So I'm always checking when I talk about things in my videos. <clears throat> beginning of my last vlog. When I open these up, I got almost three full cases. Now they're sold out on Lego.com. It's going out to Nesbricks. Commented on some of my videos recently. What's up? Alright, it's Saturday, January the 4th. Uh, I just got back from Green Bay, Wisconsin. <laughs> I uh, went to the virtual reality arcade there for my oldest son's 12th birthday. And he went to Target and Walmart. Um, so at Target, start there. It's the first place we went. They had some clearance, nothing really good. They had a ton of the Unikitty party time sets for $14. I have a ton of them right now that I got for like $12 and under. So didn't buy any of those. I have way too many. And then they got two of these. That's all they had. <coughs> and then... Uh, these are $8.50 for a two-pack, which I'm going to put over here. I've been bulk sorting a few things, and uh, I just needed a couple more. I only really wanted one right now. I probably should have got uh, another two-pack, but either way, football's on. And then we get to Walmart. And they had this price tag on here um, for the DC superheroes. 27 of these. I, I started feeling them to try to find some. But the last three I got, 
uh, from Kohl's last week, in the last video, you think you'll see it. I put those for sale yesterday, Friday, and they both sold by this morning. So for like seven bucks each. <clears throat> so I paid, you know, five for those ones before at Kohl's, but I did have ten dollars free Kohl's cash. So I got do get two out of the three I bought free. And then so these are only the three forty four, which is great. So I just bought them all. And then they actually probably had about twenty more of these, but I I should have probably bought them. I just got five more. And I got one of the nephews. This was on the shelf randomly. I knew this was closed out a while ago. So I scanned it with my phone and it was four dollars and fifty cents. So I still have some I haven't carted out yet. Over here, big lineup of them. Goes all the way down there, so let's uh add to it. Make it look kosher here. There we go. So those will be part of hopefully soon. I really want to get this next just to make more room on my counter there. <clears throat> then that's it. So um, that was everything we got. These were yeah, four ninety seven as well. These are three forty four. Um, so I'm I'm gonna open every single one of these. My older son's excited to open them and go through them, and we're gonna bag them up and then get them all on eBay shortly. Okay, here's the weekend mail. Saturday, at least no mail on Sundays. Uh, we got this. This is a free package from the post office. I think that's uh, twenty five of those padded flat rate envelopes. Those are good for brickling mortars. I probably use a couple a month. I ran out of them, so got those. Um, three Bricklink orders. Here's one um, for the minifigure stand. And then they had a couple of parts I needed. Dark green body for the dark green wizard. And some skeleton heads for the Minecraft guys. Uh, here's another order. Again, mostly for the minifigure stand. And I got some out of the the small blasters, Star Wars blasters there. Picked up some other things I needed. Two more, three more plates they have for like, I don't know, 75 cents or something. And then uh, this one, saying the top has the same print but different color. So they threw it in. I always like free stuff. This is from a minifig galore store, I think. I'm pretty sure. Some good prices on some minifigs, I always do. So I picked some of those up and I needed to get low on red legs for some reason. I always keep myself stocked. And I got one brick, or this is eBay, I mean. This is like a $7 purchase. These are supposed to all be incomplete. And you can see like the nephew's missing his head, his hat's in there. Um, the bear does not have uh, the headgear. This. Is it Tina Goldstein doesn't have her head, he's missing his legs. Um, so overall it's a very good value for something like that. Edna Mode's missing her head, but her hair's in there. So look at there's an extra pair of her legs in there. So yeah, overall pretty good for the price, definitely. I have one little change to the Brick Link store over here. This used to be one big container like this with a bunch of things in it, mostly Duplo. And I, these are on sale for like $1.49 each. So I thought about, um, these are, I'm, gonna try, I'm trying to sell these at low prices. They're like Star Wars mini builds. Um, and there's some electrical stuff in there. And then Duplo. Uh, thought, thinking about just putting all Duplo in these once I clear them out. And just so I know if it's a Duplo, it'll be in, I'll just name it like Duplo 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't sell too much of it, but I have been buying some more so I want to get some more space, so just uh, another little upgrade here. Okay, we opened all 27 of uh, these blind bags. Let's go through it. We got three Jokers, two Wonder Woman, two Bumblebee, two Superman, two Aquaman, two Huntress, I believe, two, I'm not, I forget his name, two, is that Metamorphous or something like that, uh, two Batmites, two Flash, and then two star girl i think this one um had its really white spot see see where it's the white's not there anymore it was like paint that was up uh on top of on top of the torso had to scrape it off and now there's no paint there so it's a damaged torso whatever so 1939 batman we got one of those one sinestro one cyborg and one 
Green Lantern, Simon Bays, whatever his name is. So we did not get the Cheetah Girl, which is fine. So that's what we got, and then we got we actually ended up getting one extra cape in one of these. Uh, this Huntress, because she has her capes on both of them, and one, there's two in one of the bags, and these are other extra pieces. All right, we made another Walmart run. <clears throat> we had to pick up a gift for my son's birthday. It, it, they only had it about an hour and 15 minutes away. Um, whoa, what are you guys doing? Playing a huge arcade game. So these were $19 each. They had three left there. Got those. It's great because um, the poor, the gonk droid I put in an eBay auction together and I already sold them so I can just take those out and just relist them. And then Luke Skywalker I already have for sale and the cloud guy I have for sale. Maybe someone else. Um, but either way, so I'll be parting those out shortly. And then these were $5 each. I had some of the Jasmine before. I think I already parted them out. I almost left this one but you get three little hamsters and a figure so I just picked it up I might find more later I don't know let's check nice so I had some other ones that I already I think it was a Rapunzel so I parted those ones out I did not part these ones out so perfect three more here it's an easy part out and get a minifigure so like that one of my biggest bricklink orders in quite a while not sure how much quite a while is but then like the last month I can't remember this one this high um, there's just so many they run together anyway <laughs> um, but thank you you know who you are if you're watching this took me a good hour to pack it but definitely worth worth the sale here's an example of that Harry Potter advent calendar that I um, got two of for $19 each other day and I parted out in the last video selling them for nine bucks so like three bucks a fig in this scenario but then you know there's others that I have for sale as well but this is just a good example and you know the rest of the set cost me ten dollars as a cost for all the other figs and all the parts because um, I'm sure the other one of these will sell pretty quick here so here's another example um, how to sell things from an advent calendar so that got the three Star Wars ones and uh, so these ones I just sold recently so what I did is I just took these six out and I'm going to put them together and put them in bags and relist. I have three more available. Getting some Duplo, more Duplo listed. Those are the easy things to find. Already listed. We've got to do the figures. These are each of these are different. Look at the freckles on the face. Yeah, a lot more. So when you, every time you're searching Duplo, you always put Duplo in the search bar, and then what a space and whatever you're searching in it. So it's the easiest way to find. So when you see this guy, what would you search? My first instinct was Duplo, space figure, space glasses. I uh, didn't find it, so then I went to overalls. That's the problem with Bricklink. They don't have glasses in there, so I'm going to put a request to change it. All you do is click here, um, change image, I think it's, was it part? Yeah, well. This is a minifigure, right? They're calling this a, yeah, this is a Duplo minifigure. Change item name to, so what you do is, what I do is I just copy this whole name, like this, copy, Change the name, you paste it. I'm gonna just throw it like right here. Glasses. And then add a comma back in there. And need glasses in the, in the title. Oh. 
There, submit. And it was submitted. And then you go to click on it again, and I can go to here, change items now that I have one pending. <clears throat> and we won't talk about this skeleton. Skeletal horses, I mean. Oh, don't call it a skeleton horse. Please don't do it. Anyway, um, so there it is, pending. I've had this thing for way too long. what we have no computer lots of pieces that are actually still in the bag so we're gonna we're gonna part this bad boy out there's a few there's a remote in there at least a couple sensors so this bag was in here with all this stuff so I looked up this as a 10 by 10 radar thing and I found it that it came to this set from 2005, the Wookiee Attack um, comes with, uh, I think, is that Chewbacca? Let's check. It definitely comes with some battle droids. Oh, it, this is, oh, the Wookiee Warrior. That's an older one. I don't know if I've ever had that. Um, dwarf Spider. Okay, so if I look in here. I think I can definitely build that dwarf spider. Oh, the, the figure's in there. Holy cow. The Wookiee Warrior's in there. I never knew this was in this box. This might be a complete set here. Um, let's see what the value is on that one. $133 new? Wow. $50 used. I mean, this, these are, this bag is unopened. These pieces look pretty much new. The one bag was open. This bag is unopened. Um, so wow, yeah, all the looks like all the droids are in that one. So there's the tracks. Interesting find. Well, I see what the value is in here. This dwarf spider droid, thirty-eight dollars. Holy cow! So let's go ahead and part out this set. <laughs> Holy cow, that's expensive shouldered up. So my mom lives in Colorado and her husband works at a community rec center and they said that they were throwing this in the trash. <laughs> so they spent about 25 bucks and shipped this all to me. I had no idea this was in here. I just kind of briefly looked at it like okay. I was I was looking for the main mo you know mechanical the computer when I got it and wasn't there so I just put it back in the box and said I'll get to it someday because this is definitely all used this is brand new stuff here it's crazy so this is a little more in depth than I want to go right now <laughs> I'd rather do uh, minifig stuff so put this away over this weekend I'll get to it so we have one uh, eBay seller trying to sell this for 50 bucks free shipping so I will be lowering that price on mine when I get it for sale, hopefully in a few days. Somebody actually sold one for $20 and $8. So they're not probably that sought after, I would I guess. Um, just looking at this, this is like a whole set sold for that. But we'll be parting ours out. I might just part out the parts to the, the droid, I don't know yet. We'll have to see the pricing on everything and what sells. So. But yeah, good. All right, here is uh, the Monday mail. Uh, one Bricklink order here. That. Not sure why I came here. I think all these for sure. I was trying to build some Minecraft spiders. More Minecraft things I needed. Just a small order. Oh, yeah. These were the piece I could build a couple skeleton horses for Minecraft, and I didn't have any of the tail pieces. So they had a lot of Minecraft stuff I need. I think they probably were in the same set, I'm guessing. So they had quite a bit of stuff there. This is from a uh, eBay seller that I bought by tons, tons of stuff from, um, like all those torsos, like that one. Uh, this is just a big four pound lot, and there's so much good stuff in there. And I think there was a couple of these with the Alien Commander. Um, there's all kinds of detail pieces, minifig pieces, that I list individually on Bricklink and sell some of it. I need to put some, you know, a lot of minifig parts in there. Um, so this is like, I think I paid 
less than $20 a pound, something like that, about $20 a pound of her parts. Um, they wanted like, I think it was like more like $35 a pound, but I offered less. Oh yeah, look, there's two of those there, one there, so, um, and they accepted it. He's very generous when I make offers because I buy a lot from him. There's that Jedi headgear, Stas, Stas Alley, or not sure the name exactly. I'm not a fanatic, unfortunately, on getting names right. Um, but I know how to find them on a brick link. So lots of good stuff in these. Well, just a Monday evening. 8 Bricklink orders to pack up. Not too bad of lots. Here's a blue and white order and a little bit of gray sp sprinkled in there for War Builder. wonder what they're building. Extra pieces. And the new DC superheroes are already leaving. Well, I just paid my Bricklink uh, selling fees, so I was paying it to Lego Company. Well, this tray has a multitask feature. Nice yellow background for photographs. I used to sell a lot of football cards on eBay, but then I sold the collection. And I had one box that I found that I had of some stuff. Lamar Jackson rookie jersey. Tyler Lockett Gold Refractor, a couple of Russell Wilson rookie cards, one is a refractor, Jimmy Garoppolo rookie refractor, these are just basic cards. We're going to be doing a leisure part out of these Star Wars advent calendars, it's got three of them. Day one is here, I've already parted out and took out all the minifigures. Um, I generally took one and put the whole thing for sale on Bricklink and then parted out the other two. Some I did uh, put in my, um, my convention stuff. Two Rebel Troopers in there, Chewbacca's in there. A couple, a couple other things, the Cloud Car guys goes in the more expensive one. He's actually the highest priced one of the set. He's at Bricklink like six something a, a sale. So now I'm gonna just go one by one, I got the the day one here. Let's go here. I'm gonna say part out, and then make sure I put it on three items. Items, and they're new parts. Submit for edit, and then I'm sure I'm gonna have some of these in my wall already. There are a lot of common, more common things, but I do sell a lot of the gray a lot. So out of this one, there's 12 different lots. Wow. And I have one, two, three, four, five of them in my store already. So I'm going to go pull empty drawers, get them numbered, and then I'll just run each part over into the drawer it needs to go in that's already there. I won't bring it over here. So three of the day one bit mini builds, and that's that much. So that's not too bad right away off the bat. Just got done with the fifth mini build, parted out. Nine more to go, I think. Um, the highest one so far is the resistance troop transport. What's so expensive here? Well, those are 33 cents each. People build them little mechs with them. Uh, that's a good little piece, 28 cents. So, oh, these blue ones? I don't, I don't believe that for a second. Maybe they're pretty rare. I just got the email. Oh, I'm super excited. I just yelled a couple times. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. 1900 orders. What? Oh, Wednesday morning's mail. There's like 50 bucks in sports cards that I already sold there. Um, three Bricklink orders there. And then the eBay had uh, what, 13 packages. Lots of DC superhero figures going out. I think like six of them. Dimensions time. All these game tags are going to go to the Bricklink store for certain. The figures mostly are going to or, um, eBay, and then I'm going to part out these builds. Okay, so the first thing I got out of here was um, Marty McFly. He had one build, the uh, part of the DeLorean, and he's the main 
amount of this, but we'll just go through each one, see what we get. So you might be wondering, how do I look all these up? I mean, there's easy ways to find simple, some of them if you just search single ones, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the main page on BrickLink, click on sets, go down, and this row says dimensions. There's a bunch of waves, but I'm just gonna click on them all. There's 67 different ones, and I'm gonna go to the next one I see I know I have. So I think I have this Homer, at least I have this build. Wait, no, that's not Homer. Um, let's, let's scratch that. We have Shell from Portal or whatever. So I'm gonna look at these builds. I know I have this build. And I don't know, I don't think I have that one. Either way, but I have her. So I'm gonna part out this build and her. Second one parted out. There's the mount, the mount. So here's what I found for this one. And then I checked on eBay. I did not have him for sale. This is a sold listing, so he will be, I just added the um, scabbard and put two swords in there. He'll be on eBay momentarily. All right, there's this one plus uh, another five or so dollars for the other Kai. Okay, that mini build I just took apart was definitely not to Wonder Woman. Not sure what it, what it was. I looked through all the, oh wait, there's a second page here. I couldn't figure it out. After I took it apart, I can't see anymore, but I know what it looked like. I still don't see it. Oh, whatever. It must have been this thing because a lot of the parts are here, so we'll part we'll part that out, I guess. And the Zane mini build. Huge. Alright, here's Benny in the spaceship. He was the majority of that. But parts are pretty cheap anyway. There's Benny. The next in line is this one. Right here. Here's the Jungle Robe J dimensions. Um, I am putting this one on eBay. So he's like five, six, seven bucks, something like that. Here's the Gimli build. Okay, according to my part out log, uh, we've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've done eight of these so far. I have not been putting these with them. I'm doing those separate at the end, all together. Um, but I'm, those are the, the generic ones. We're getting there. The mess is going away slowly. Fortunately, this guy is getting junked out. There's teeth marks on that tag. It might still work, but I'm just gonna put it in my damage stuff dollar bag. I've uploaded a few since I last put a clip, but this is the A-Team van. No Mr. T, but we got the van. Well, I had the buggy here to this set. This is like a $45 set. It's crazy. $50 new. Um, so I pirated out the buggy I had, whatever that thing is. Ooh, that's a big money on that one. All right, I've decided enough is enough. I got this much left. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these up real quick. Um, this this is gonna be the total of four different parts. There's those, those, the blue ones, and this. So, get those organized and I'll go in my used shoe boxes because there's a lot of them. All right, here's Tuesday and Wednesday mail. This one is the Air mail from Royal Mail, um, the UK. Put that right in there. Um, this uh, I got there for these swords. I did not have any. Now I have quite a few. So I sell the clay next to that guy with added a shield. It sells pretty well on eBay. Um, and then this is another brick and order. I threw away the package. I can't figure out who it's from. Um, got some more red legs. And things for Minecraft animals. We needed that for a snake and Ninjago. All kinds of goodies. All these, all these are things I needed on my list. I got a what is that a what do you call it? A cattle horn for the Minotaur Series Six. Complete him now, and away we go. Well, the poly bag is being inventoried here, but she's uh she's here for sale. Um, I'm not sure how they sold for that much, but she was a Comic-Con figure, so maybe the first few people that had her up got a good, oh my goodness, let's see, price by month, 10 bucks is the highest in January, so yeah, she's, wait, 
Is she just in Comic Con? Let me just double check this here. Um, yeah, Comic Con exclusive is what she came in originally. So, uh, either way, <clears throat> she's in here. I can sell. He's in here. I can sell. He was in another set. So I, what I did is I have these three bags are opened. Removed the figures. I parted out one already. I'll part these out too. They're in there. So well, I take that back. The trans orange power blasts are not in here yet. It was very cold. I should have wore better gloves. And now I remember why I went to the store because I was looking specifically for these dark blue plumes. I think they had five of them and they were less than 50 cents each. So very good deal for those. All right, so Wednesday has come to an end. Well, work day wise and we got up to s all sevens for lots. <laughs> And then we added 201 new lots today. I guess that's what it's telling me. So I'm going to notify everyone that has these on their list right now. And then they've been notified. So that should drive a few sales, I would think. Um, but yeah, we did a lot, a lot of parts added. Not too many quantity-wise, but still sitting pretty good. It is now Thursday. December 9th and uh, I'll go through this this is an eBay lot I opened up a little bit ago it's all old stuff so it seemed like most of these are in pretty good, good, good condition some of it's not but most of it looks like pretty much never played with some of it um, some really cool pieces in here uh, so I'm gonna get I'll get it all laid out and We'll go to work on putting this on Bricklink. Alright, so just going to go through why I bought this. Uh, typically I won't, I don't buy older stuff too much because it's pretty generic things that on Bricklink they don't even sell for $2 most of these figures. So on uh, eBay I'd, you could probably get some good stuff with some good you know setup auction, uh, setup pictures and stuff. But So it was 35 just a bid, an auction. I was the only one to bid on it so with the shipping it was like 40 150 uh, the reason I took a chance on it is because of, where's this thing at, because um, that torso, I didn't see the uh, the green bandana, but uh, either way, if I can complete that figure, that will almost pay for half of everything here. So <clears throat> then I noticed there's some other things that were useful to me, the, um, sorry, let me go to this spot, the general guy, here's a forest man. There's a bandit guy that I sell a lot. The TV guys I sell a lot. Um, so there's other things in here that I that I found found pretty useful. And then a lot of these, uh, lots of other things. So um, if I ever get a green bandana, I usually save it. So let's check in here. Have a look. I don't know why the Cedric the Bull thing is in here, but... I don't see it. I see a lot of the other green forestman hats, so yeah, I don't, I don't think I have one. <clears throat> but that's alright. If I have her head, it'd be in the Islanders. And I know I was short on them recently. I've been trying to. Oh, there's one. Solid stud. So. There it is. And we'll try to complete it. Ooh, I have I've had this before, <clears throat> and I uh, remember that because it is for Biker Bob. I did an Instagram post on it a long time ago. It's just loading. This guy, he's got to add some stuff and then find. I don't know if he's in here. I don't think. I don't think that was the actual set that that one came in. It probably came in other sets, but I will be making that set. Okay, so here's the beautiful mess. Um, so basically, all the ones standing up, I'm going to be using in some fashion on eBay or Bricklink. There, um, these I'll probably put in my two dollar bin for the conventions. Along with most of these, I'll actually, I'll, I sell this one too as well. I'll put 
him back there. Um, and I kind of picked through all this the best I could. Um, but for now, I got all the, I think I'll mostly all the printed stuff out of here. Um, which is some pretty cool stuff. What is it? Um, I've never had this thing. It's a piston of some sort. I'm going to look that up. This is pretty cool. I think I've had it in the past. Um, these old brown pitchforks are like almost two dollars. These I think are a good piece. I'll have to look those up. I've never had this piece before. I have to look that up. So is there anything else? So what I'm going to do is that this will be an eBay auction. I wrote down the set number that exactly how it comes in the set. And then Biker Bob, that's the set. I got every all the old gray and all the gray pieces on the bike. I just have to buy him. If I bought um, his head and torso, it'd be like less than a dollar. So I'll I just put that on my wanted list for now. And then, oh yeah, this. I've never seen a white briefcase. This is as long as I can remember. But um, So I'll look that up. So I'm going to look up a few items here and we'll see what they're worth. All right, I'm gonna look up some things. I'll start with the easy stuff. Uh, the briefcase is obviously easy. It comes up as a white one here. And let's see. So I just go to price guide, click on white. Um, tells me the price. So it's like a 40 cent item. We'll add it. Let me go grab a drawer. All right, so I grabbed U27. We'll just say U0027, put it for 55 cents because it'll go on the 30 to 40 percent sale once I click all, all, all that on later. And that is for sale in the drawer. Now we're going to look up a compass, this next easy one. And it's got the like Saints pattern, the floor de list pattern here and yep that's the one I have and it says look at that four dollars nice so we're gonna add that to the same drawer let's say 755 <clears throat> just because it was almost five dollars actually so that sale will bring it down to the average prices once that goes into place now we'll do this piston see if I can find that I've never seen this before um, oh, there's there is right there. So we have a piston and um, <clears throat> the Technic thing with a circle on it, which I don't see it in this right here at least. Um, these are other things I was looking up. Let's bring this over here. Okay, so we have one in dark gray. <clears throat> They're not worth hardly anything. So I'm still gonna. Since I got this far, I'm going to put it for sale. And we'll say 0.15 cents. That is for sale. And then I'm going to go back to what sets this comes in. 105 sets, holy cow. <clears throat> I'm going to try to locate um, this other part that was in there. Here it is. Right, this one right here I have. And we will... Add that nobody has it for sale used the cheapest you can well you can find some cheap new for oh wait this is for the whole set I'm sorry <laughs> let me get into the inventory and there we go very cheap <clears throat> okay so again since we're here we're gonna add it add variety to the store what point ten cents so you can always look at the price guide right here it average sales for five cents, so I should probably put that to like eight. And move on from there. And then we have a two by two, two space, two X, or two space X space two space uh, tile. And I think I'm going to put thumbprint. It's not coming up. No, so let's not do that. Um, Magnifying glass, if I know how to spell it. There it is, it came up here. It says with fingerprint pattern. I should probably should have known to use fingerprint, not thumbprint. <laughs> Either way, not very 
much, but again, we're going to add it. It's in great shape. Doesn't hardly hardly any scratch as well. So we're going to go U zero zero two seven one point thirty cents, and that is for sale. <clears throat> now we have these uh, yellow control things, one by two tiles. I I'm sure I can't find them. Uh, so I'm going to do one by two tile. I don't know, space. It has four buttons, two black, two red, and then a little screen with red marks. That doesn't work. Tile. Uh, why is that crazy? One by two. What does it? Is it you're supposed to put a space there? I don't know. Either way. <clears throat> I'm not going to try to look them up, but that there's some there's some how we list things. So I realized I had some of these that kind of match these. I mean, they're two separate, but there's uh, about half as many one by one printed tiles as one by two. So I just went through the list and this is um, about 50 down. Apparently that's a computer display. Believe it or not. I don't know. I guess it is. Don't know. So then what I want to do is just do one by two computer display and that should bring up there it is we did it and I have two yellow ones which are quite a healthy find there for the prices the average price people want is about a dollar twenty seven well these one by ones are a pretty little uh, find we got three of those and then if you want, I found this one too. It's described as red and black buttons pattern. But the big one by two tile with those on it does not say anything about red and black buttons. There we go. Let's hope no one else has the problem. So right now it's listed with a uh, computer pattern. That's the only description you can get from that. So we've asked them to change it to red and black buttons computer pattern. I don't know if they'll do it, but... Um, Yes, they should. Well, I found another goodie. I, I, I was pretty sure I'd never seen one of these in this color. It's a 1x4 antenna under Bricklink here. Antenna 1x4. It's a dark blue. There is no blue, so $2.10 average sale price. Nice. So these uh, things here, not the pieces all attached to it, but the, the, they hold like palm trees together. Um, they only come in the in blue in three different sets. There's two in each of these pirate ships. And then I looked up the price of a blue one. Average sale, sold price $7 each. People want an average $11 for one of them. Wow, that pays. That paid for half, almost half of all this stuff. Just once I sell those, it's crazy. So now that we are going to... Brick World, Milwaukee, slash Wisconsin, I have this container full. I've been working on it for quite a few weeks. Excuse the noise upstairs, kids are marble throwing all over the place apparently. Um, so there's a lot of stuff in here. I have to pull out my bins, my my, mar my convention bins, I'm going to call them. I call them, I always, only used to do flea markets, so I always going to call them my flea market bins, uh, but this is growing into something better than that so uh, it's more appropriate to call my convention stuff I don't know this stuff obviously won't make it this is non Lego things um, so so yeah these need to be put in single bags and go to my two dollar bin oh they all fell out but a lot of stuff in here for my build your own just random single pieces and all kinds of stuff so Away we go, do it again.